All right, we're here doing work with the nonprofit Salmon Protection and Watershed Network Spawn. We're looking at a rainwater harvesting tank that was recently installed on this office building. And as a downspout from this part of the roof enters this berm, it passes through into what is a rain garden or bioswell that is being constructed right now by volunteers with PG&E. We've got a work crew now filling in the depression that they've dug to trap the rainwater to allow it to percolate naturally into the soil. They're coating it with wood chips to really help these native plants that they've installed through this uh, first shock of being transplanted. These are all native plants that were provided from the Spawn Native Plant Nursery. All these native plants were raised from local seed or local cuttings. So they should have great success being transplanted here in this rain garden. Once we get this rain garden complete, we'll do a nice little sign for it and we'll be sure to share its success with these volunteers as we continue to stay in touch. It's little projects like these that add up to a healthier watershed that we need for the continued existence of the endangered coho salmon. My name is Chris Pinsetich and I'm the Education and Outreach Director for the Turtle Island Restoration Network, working with Spawn.